Welcome back to my channel. So today, I love y'all a little bit more than normal. I always love you guys, but I'm loving y'all a little bit more than normal because I'm going to be attempting Bantu knots. Now, I did Bantu knots about two years ago and they came out bomb.com, but my hair has grown since and um, I ain't did Bantu knots in like two years. So I'm a little nervous. Um, this is not a tutorial, unless it turns out cute, then it's a tutorial. So before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe down below, click the notification bell so you don't miss my new uploads. And I guess I'm just gonna get into this. As you can see, my hair is all blued out. You know what I'm saying? A section probably like here. It looks like a good section. That's too much, Never mind. Okay. Probably like a section this big. Yep. And then I'm just going to ponytail the rest. It's just way more hair than it was last time. So I know this process is gonna take longer. I could just feel it. But I think the results, I do it for y'all and for the results. Cause I think the results, if I still got it, like I used to have it. They should be so bomb. Okay, so, ooh, look at, look at that. Inches, 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 inches. Okay, so, I get distracted so easily, y'all. Okay, I'm just gonna take this section and just get it out of the way. Boom, pigtail shoddy. I'm just gonna section off a decent section. I don't want it to be too big because um who has time bantu knots already take forever to dry that's part of the reason why i went ahead and blew out my hair um i think this is a good section oh nervous y'all nervous you got this sade you a star sade so product wise i'm gonna be using the blueberry bliss twist and shout cream if it'll focus Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be using this bad boy. Do I twist this way or this way? Lord help me. Did it? I know you could twist either way, but I'm just asking like, how do I do it? I gotta do a little test run. That don't seem right. So I'm gonna take some of the twist and shout cream, like that much. Be especially generous on the ends, as always. And then I'm gonna brush it out. You put too much of this, it will start reverting. I'm pretty sure my hair already started reverting a little bit, but that's okay. I really blow out my hair so that it can be easier. Ugh. I really blow out my hair so they can be easier um, for me to take sections. That sounds so weird, but it makes sense. So I'm just gonna start by holding my hair taut and twisting. You see what I did there? And just grabbing and twisting. And then, this is so complicated to explain. Then I'm gonna wrap and keep twisting. And wrap and keep twisting. I think I'm doing a really terrible job at showing you guys this. Of course, make sure the hair is nicely detangled, but I'm just twisting my hair and then wrapping it around itself. And this is gonna be a long Bantu knot cause my hair didn't got some inches to it. And then what I do is just keep wrapping and I really don't have time for this to come out after I've spent my good time on it. So I'm going to bobby pin it just to be on the safe side. Okay. So that's one down. Wish me luck.
and let y'all know right now, do not try this if you haven't been weightlifting. <laughs> I know that sounds a little extreme, but y'all, my arms are killing me. And this is the real gag. This is it. This all I got done. How? How? So I'm gonna go take a break and I'll be back um, when my arms have had adequate rest. Oh, I for sure look wild. This is what I did so far, y'all. And you can really tell how much my hair has grown out. Like this is crazy, like all of this dark brown Natural hair color, hello. Now I know I look a mess, but hear me out. There's still a chance this is gonna be cute. And we all know Bantu knots don't look that cute anyway, but look how long they are. What I'm gonna go do is sit under the dryer. Don't ask me how many uh, Bantu knots are in here. I don't know a decent amount, I would say. I did them bigger in the back and smaller in the front because I wanted a little more definition. But yeah, so I'm gonna go sit under the dryer and I'll be back when it's time to take them down. All right, y'all, I'm back. I sat under the dryer for about 30 minutes and I feel like these bad boys are dry. Now, this is why I did this on dry hair because if my hair was wet, no deal. It would take all day. So I'm just gonna start taking it out and we're just gonna cross our fingers and pray that it turns out cute. So to take them out, I'm just gonna if I can remember the way I twisted them, I'm just gonna unscrew them the opposite way. Ah, okay. This should be cute. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna take this, um, what is it called, castor oil? Rub it on my hands just a little bit. y'all so i'm just gonna start taking them down again i have oil on my hands so that my hair doesn't get too frizzy on the takedown y'all so i actually really like the way it came out it looks like one of those crochet wigs like if you've ever seen a crochet wig this is what they look like the curl is just so uniform it just looks exactly like this um like i said i like it comment down below let me know what you guys are thinking but i think it turned out bomb like come come through curls and even if i wanted to put this in like two pigtails a high puff it's gonna look cute because the curls are popping and my hair is super soft. So yeah. Okay, and also I didn't let you guys know, but I slicked the front just because my hair is a lot longer since the last time I did this and my hair is just too long. I really wanted to do bangs, but you wouldn't be able to see my eyes. So I decided to go in with the middle part and slick the front down. Uh, but y'all could do whatever y'all please or whatever, but... Oh. I like this. Okay. Woo. I got something on my face. It, it's, it's hair. Yep. Mm-hmm. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.